This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month. Oh, hold on. Put it up here. Oh my god, are we employee 427? Oh my god. co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Well, you know what? No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. I get, at least if we have our own office, like these guys just have cubicles. Get wrecked. Cubicle employees. I like work. I just hate my boss, okay. Just duck is control, mouse one, take screenshot, pause game. I can just click the things, I guess. Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office, but it didn't make a single difference, nor did it advance the story in any way. Fuck you, man. I hate Mondays. Where the fuck is the meeting room? Stanley came to a set of two open doors. He entered the door on his left. What happens if I go in the one on on my right? Do I just Yeah, fuck you. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. <laughs> Hell yeah, that's what definitely what I wanted to do. Yes, truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. Okay. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. I don't think this is where the narrator wanted me to go. Stanley didn't want to go back to the office. He wanted to wander about and get even further off track. So now in order to get back, he needed to go um uh, from here it's um left. Oh man. Oh no. No, it's to the right by mistake. Oh, now it's... <laughs> no, 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 not the right. Why would I have ever said it was to the right? What was I thinking? It's clearly... Oh dear, would you hold on for a minute, please? I feel like Magical Mike is guiding me through this game. Like, right now. You went down, right, left, down, left, right. Yep, yep, okay, okay, yes. I've got it now. This story is absolutely, definitely this way. Uh oh. No, 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 
no, no, no, no, no, no. This isn't right at all. You're not supposed to be here yet. This is all a spoiler. <laughs> what? Okay, 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 okay. We just, we just have to get back to, um, oh, who am I kidding? It's all rubbish now. The whole story completely unusable. How about rather than waste my time trying to salvage this nonsense, we'll just restart the game from the beginning. And this time, suppose we don't wander so far off track, hmm? Okay. From the top. Wait, <laughs> what is that? What? Wait a second. What <laughs> back to start? All of his co workers were gone. What could be? What? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. <laughs> when Stanley, wait, wait, what? What? No, I'm, no, I restarted. I swear, I definitely restarted the game over, completely fresh. Everything should be. What did something change, Stanley? Did you change anything when we were back in that room with all the monitors? Did you move? Hey, the McMendy. Story somewhere or? Uh, hold on. Why am I asking you? I'm the one who wrote the story. It was right here just a minute ago. I know for sure that it's here somewhere. Okay then, it's an adventure. Come, Stanley. Let's find the story. Doing pretty good, man. What the fuck? Why is it all? Oh my god! Did we fuck something up? All the doors are open now. Except for this one. What the fuck? So what now it's up to me to find this story? I'll say it. This is the worst adventure I've ever been on. I can promise you <laughs> there definitely was a story here before. Do we just do we need to restart the game again? Well, I find it unlikely that we'll ever progress by starting over and over again. Wait, what? It's gotta be better than this. Okay, let's give it a shot. Why not? What? <laughs> Wait a minute! What the fuck? Oh my god, I like ruined the game. <laughs> All of his co workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, yep, it's worse. <laughs> I might be remembering what's wrong. It's possible the story is back where we just came from. Why don't we go back the other direction and see if we missed it? Now there's no doors! What the fuck? Okay. Aha! I knew we'd miss something. The story. Here it comes. Okay. No, wait. Never what? Mind. Not the story. Okay, let's head back the other way and retrace our steps. What the fuck? Now this... Well, I'll be honest, I don't recognize this place at all. Is this the story? I don't think so. I can't quite recall, but I believe my story took place in an office building. It, is that correct? Hmm. Do you remember, Stanley? Would well, you know what? What the so fuck is happening? What we were supposed to be doing. How about this? You win! <laughs> what?! Congratulations! I know you put in a lot of hard work, and it really paid off, so good job. Oh, no. <laughs> right about this at all. We both know you didn't put in any actual work for that win. Some people win fair and square, and this was not one of those situations. Okay? I'm getting weirded out by whatever this place is. I don't care what might happen this time, I have to be Wait. <laughs> All right, I've got a solution. This time, to make sure we don't get lost, I've employed the help of the Stanley Parable Adventure Line. <laughs> Just follow the line. How simple is that? 
Okay. The adventure line. But we, we didn't go this way last time. I don't... No. I'm not following the adventure line. Let's go this way. Oh, no, wait. We got fucked, because this no, is... No, I'm done. We're leaving it up to the line from now on. Ah, <sighs> fine. Is that always spelled there? Okay. The adventure line. Can't possibly get lost now. Good job, team. We should have just... The line knows where the story is. It's over in this direction. Onward, Stanley, to destiny. The... Here's a thought. Wouldn't wherever we end up be our destination, even if there's no story there? Or to put it another way, is the story of no destination still a story? Simply by the act of moving forward, are we implying a journey such that a destination is inevitably conjured into being via the very manifestation of the nature of life itself? Okay, Stanley, I need to follow this train of thought for a minute. Just stick with me. Now, we can both agree that the nature of existence is, in fact, a byproduct of one subjective experience of that existence, right? Okay, now, if my experience of your existence rests inside of your subjective experience of this office, is this office, in fact, the skeleton of my own relative experiential mental subjective construct? Whoa, 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 whoa. hang on. That got a bit weird back there. Well, I'd like to apologize sure where I was going with all that. You know what? I think what we need right now is a bit of music to lighten the mood. This fucking adventure line. God damn it. Wait, cut the music. Go back and look at that fern. <laughs> no. Fucking weird. Wait, we're, we're back at the office? No. No, no, line. You do know we're looking for the Stanley Parable, right? The story? Is any of this ringing a bell? <sighs> what the fuck? What is this? Oh, no, 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 not again, line. How could you have done this to us? And after we trusted you, after everything we've been through... What? You... Oh, I can't take No! What the hell with it. Restart. Wait, no... But the adventure line is still here. Oh my god. You know what, Stanley? I say forget the adventure line. What's it ever done for us? I heard that. People, right? Why can't we make up our own story? Something exciting, daring, mysterious. Oh, this all sounds perfectly doable. Why don't we simply start wandering in, well, I don't know. How about this direction? Okay. Now, yes, this is exciting. Just me and Stanley forging a new path, a new story. Well, it could be anything. <laughs> what do you want our story to be? Go wild. Use your imagination. Whatever it might be, Stanley, I'm ready for it. Well, I'm sure you are. Oh, no, not you again. Stanley. Oh, God. I'd like to veto the line from having any role in our awesome new story. No lines or monitor rooms. Just don't acknowledge it. We should be fine. <laughs> well, this is what I get for not listening. Ah, a choice. We get to make a decision. From here, the story is in our control. Oh, man. How important we mustn't squander the opportunity. In fact, I believe I need a minute to think here. 
just walk in circles for a minute. Okay, so I know that each door has to lead somewhere, which means that somewhere, the place where we're trying to go, there must be a reverse door that leads here. And that, in turn, means that our destination corresponds with the counter-inverted reverse door's origin. So starting from the right, let us ask, will taking the right door lead us to where we're going? And since the answer is clearly yes, then by all accounts, the door on the right is the correct one. <laughs> Another victory for logic. Come, Stanley. Our destiny awaits. All right. What's this? Hmm. The, con hmm. the confusion ending. You're telling me that's what this is? It's all one giant ending? And we're supposed to restart the game for eight, eight times? That's really how all this goes? It's all determined? So now, according to the schedule, I restart again. Then what? Am I just supposed to forget? Well, what if I don't want to forget? My mind goes blank simply because it's written here on this, this thing, wall. Well, who consulted me? Why don't I get to decide? Why don't I get a say in all of this? Is it really... No, it can't be. I, I don't want it to be. I, I don't want the game to keep restarting. I, I don't want to forget what's going on. I don't want to be trapped like this. I won't restart the game. I won't do it. I won't do it. I won't do it. And the time went to stop? Does that mean, um, did we do it? Did we break the cycle? The, um, whatever it is that made this schedule? How would we even know? Will someone come for us? Will something happen? So, okay. <sighs> I guess now we just wait, you know. I suppose in some way that this is a kind of story, wouldn't you agree? I'm not quite sure if we're in the destination or the journey. Though they're always saying that life is about the journey and not the destination. So I hope that's where we are right now. We'll find out, won't we? Eventually. Well, in the meantime... <laughs> what? his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. I just, I want to go to the meeting room now. Can we just go to the meeting room? When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he Oh, did it actually restart the actual game? Oh, okay. I think we're in the actual game now. Oh, that was really weird. Yet, there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. <laughs> hey, Rosa. 